Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to remove payment method on AWS. So, before we start, hurry up and check out the software just on this video. Let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you remove your payment method here in AWS? Well, removing it is fairly easy, but there are going to be some requirements first. So, first things first, you want to go to AWS.com or the login page for AWS and basically log in into your root user. Now, in here, what we need to do is we need to access our profile. Now, at the top right of your screen, you should be able to see your profile here. Let's go ahead and click on it, and you want to go ahead and click on the account option. Now, in the account se section here, you should see a few things here, but what we're looking for is the side panel. Now, in here, you want to scroll to the very bottom here, and you want to go to preferences and settings. Now, you want to go to payment preferences. Now, from here, what we need to do next is we first need to identify what are the requirements for you in order for you to delete your uh, payment method. Now, the thing with AWS here is in order for you to keep your account, you need to have a card or payment method in hand in order for you to keep your account. So in this case, it means that you need to have a payment method in order for you to keep your account. So if you want to totally remove all your cards here, well, unfortunately, Again, you won't be able to delete it because, again, you need to have at least one payment method. Now, if you do have, like, another card that you could use for your AWS, uh, AWS uh, card here, what we need to do here is you just need to click on Add Payment Method here and just basically fill out all the requirement details here. In this case, go ahead and provide the card details, billing address here. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and click on Add Payment Method. Now, since I've already added my card here, as you can see, I have two cards here. My, I have my expired card here that I am currently using, and I have my new card that I've just recently added. So what I need to do next is I want to set my new card as default. Let's go ahead and select our new card here. Click on set as default. And once you've done that, you should notice that it is now set as default. Now, it will be the first thing you see here. Now, what we need to do next is we now need to select the expired card that we want to remove here. Click on it. And at the top right, you have the delete button. Go ahead and click on it. Now from here, what we need to do here, this, uh, you can read all the information here, but it just says that the PM method here will be deleted permanently and you can't undo this. So if you want to use it again, you need to re-add it again. So let's go ahead and click on delete. And that PM method should now be deleted. As you can see, you only have one card in here. But in this case, that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.